Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a complete run through how to set up and install on your site WP Tab Widget Pro, which is a professional and powerful widget that lets you display content arranged by tabs. It'll keep visitors on your page longer, reduce bounce rates and boost engagement on your blog. And in order to get started with this, you're going to want to make sure you've got a good knowledge of WordPress before we start. If you don't have that, then head over to mythemeshop.com slash wordpress 101. And here you're going to find a complete library of video tutorials, which can give you a complete look through how to do things with WordPress. And if you've already got a knowledge of WordPress, then check out WordPress 201 if you just scroll down on this page and you'll find those there with some advanced WordPress tutorials there. So we're ready to get started. And the first thing we want to do is head over to the My Theme Shop member area at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member. From there, you want to scroll down on your active premium resources until you get to plugins and expand WP Tab Widget Pro. You want to under download press plugin files and then save that onto your computer. Wait for that to download and from there we can head over to the WordPress dashboard. From here, you want to go to plugins and then press add new. And here you want to upload plugin and then just choose the zip file we've just downloaded. So you can select that here, press open, install now, and WordPress is going to upload the plugin and then install it onto your site. And all you need to do is press activate plugin. That's going to activate the plugin and you'll have it installed onto your site. We can now go to appearance and then click on widgets and we can load up the WordPress widget editor. On the left hand side you have the available widget and on the right hand side you have the widget areas. The widgets are little items that can be dropped into the widget areas, for example the homepage, sidebar or just the regular sidebar or specific sidebars for the WooCommerce plugin. You want to scroll down to the bottom and find WP tab widget by my theme shop and you can just drag and drop this onto a widget area. So here I'll drag and drop it onto the sidebar. Doing so is going to load up the options for the plugin. Here you can choose a number of things, including the color scheme, the tabs to display, any tabs you want to add, as well as whether to use AX to load your content. I'm gonna take you through all of these step by step. First, you'll see the color scheme, and by default, this displays the default. If you click on customize style though, then you're going to see that you've got a number of presets and additional styling options load. You have 20 plus preset styles to choose from, and you can just choose any of these by scrolling through and clicking on the one you want to select. So for example, I can select this one here, and a preview is going to load with the options I've set. We'll come to that in a minute. So you've got all of these available, and you can scroll through and have a look in order to find the ones that you want. I'm just gonna leave with this one that I've already selected, but this just shows you the full range available. Once you've selected your preset, you can also click on pagination presets. And here you can choose the pagination to display. So you'll see here, currently we have a one, two, five with a next button, but we can choose any of these. And again, it's a horizontal slider. And we might have um, some arrows, for example. And again, you'll see a live preview show up here. Or you can change the color. So we might go for a complementary color on this one. And you can see that displaying there. Next up, we have the loader, and here you can choose the loader that displays. Um, so we can choose all of these, and in order to choose the one you want, you can just click on the one you want to choose. So we did have this circle, but we could go for um, these bars here, um, and they just add this nice little animation whilst this is loading. Finally, you have the option to customize the preset colors. And here you have the option to customize all of the colors displaying on the widget. You can customize any of these by pressing select color, which will load up a color picker. And you can then choose any of the default colors here along the bottom, or you can drag and drop in order to select the color as well as change the tint. If you're after a specific color, you can enter the HTML hex code here, or you can just reset by pressing the default button. And you've got that for all of the colors, including content link color, background color, tab background, hover background, and so on. You've got all of these available here. So you can fully customize in order to get it looking exactly with your brand. So I'll just show you how this works by changing um, perhaps the active tab background color. Um, so we could select this one here. Um, we'll just change the color here, perhaps change the tint on that. 
And if we just press update preview, we're gonna have that load and um, we can see that actually we just need to reduce the tint a little bit more and update that again. And you can see you can play around with the colors here in order to get it matching your brand. Once you've set that up, you want to press save changes and the styling is now going to be set up on your site. Currently, you can see we've got two tabs, latest and popular. Now you can remove either of these just by pressing delete. So I'll show you how to add these from scratch. You can choose the tabs to display by clicking on this drop down, and you can see the options you have to choose from. First up is popular, we have latest categories, tags, comments, custom content and products, which is using the WooCommerce plugin. We'll go through each of these in turn and we'll start with popular. You want to press add new tab in order to add the tab you've selected and you'll see doing that adds that in there. You can now expand this in order to load up the options. You can set the tab name, which is what displays across the top, as well as the tab icon. And clicking this is going to load up all of these icons available here. And you can also search in order to switch between these. Um, so I might just choose a pen here um, and we can add that in there. You can choose the number of posts to display. So you can just set a number here. Here's five is fine for me, as well as the title length in words. You can do that to limit the number of words displaying if you're tight for space. You can choose whether to show the date, thumbnail, comment and post excerpt. And you can do all of these just by ticking or unticking these box. If you're using the excerpt, again, you can choose the number of words to display. You can choose a thumbnail size, small, large, or if you click custom, you're going to have the option to set this in pixels. I'll just set this back to small. And you can also choose the alignment of the thumbnail. That can be either be left or right. You're displaying popular posts, so you can choose how to determine that popularity. That can be by views or comments. And you can choose over what duration that popularity is decided. It could be all time, this week, last week, last month, or if you set custom, then you can choose a number of days. So I'll set this to all time and choose by views. You can also choose whether to allow pagination and again, just tick or untick this box. I'm going to save that. And if I have a look at my site, then we're gonna see that when we load the site, we've got this popular tab loading, including um, the background color we selected here, the one, two, three, four, five posts we selected, 10 words in the title. And we've also got the pagination we selected with the loader we selected as well. You see here, we've only got one tab though, so we can go back and add in extra tabs. To add in extra tabs, you just need to again, select the ones you want and then press add new tab. So here I can go for latest. I'll just select that and press add new tab. You'll see with multiple tabs, we can choose the order here and you can just drag and drop in order to change these around. Again, you can expand this just by clicking on it and you've got the same options available, just specified for this tab. You can choose the name again, as well as select an icon. Um, so we could just go for one of these available here, as well as choose the number of posts again, the title length, date, comment count, thumbnail, post excerpt. And again, if you tick that, you're gonna have the option to choose a number of words. Here, we might turn off the thumbnail and the comment count, but show the post excerpt along with the title. We'll turn off pagination as well, just to show you what this looks like. If we save those changes and then refresh our site, then you're gonna see we've got um, available in the widget on the right hand side, as well as the popular tab, we've now got the latest tab. And you can see this displays um, an excerpt from the post with the number of days that we specified there. With this one, it might work slightly better if we have um, perhaps the date turned off, but show slightly more content. So we can just change that there, save those changes and then refresh the site and you'll see those changes reflected immediately. And if we just flick over to this tab, you're gonna see those there. And that just shows you how quickly and easily you can update your site using WP Tab Widget Pro. Well, now move on to the next tab. And if we open this up, this is gonna be categories. This is the next type of content you can add to your tabbed widget. I'm gonna press add new tab. And again, you can drag and drop in order to move these around. You can expand this and you're gonna see you've got simpler options available for categories. And this will just display the categories that you have on your site with content in them. You can choose the tab name, select the tab icon. Um, so we might go here for um, a check. And then if we save those changes and refresh the site, 
then we'll see that added immediately. And now we've got categories available here. And if you tick on that, you're gonna have an option to load up the categories on our site with some content in them. And this will just bring you through to the archives for that category on our site. Now, the next tab we can add is tags, and this is similar to categories. This will just display the tags we've got on our site. Um, so here we can show the tags, um, but we might want to change the tab name just for this one. Um, so we could just put tags with an exclamation mark just to show you how that works. Again, you can choose the icon. Um, I'll select a wrench here, save those changes. And if we refresh our site, then we're gonna have that added in. And you'll see that as we load that in, we've got the tags available, but this loads up an extra line break. That means there's not space in our sidebar anymore for any extra tabs and we need to get rid of one. You can get rid of any of these just by pressing delete. So if we want to remove latest, we can just press delete here, save those changes. And when we refresh our site, we're gonna see that available all on one line. If we head back to the widgets here, we can add in the comments, which is the next type of content. This one will allow you to display the recent comments on your site. Again, you can choose the tab name, select an icon. Um, so we'll do a search here for comments and then select that. You can choose whether to show people's avatars as well as the number of comments to display and whether to have pagination on or off. Um, so we might display five comments here with pagination off. Um, in order to make space for this, we'll just remove the tags here and we can just press delete in order to do that. Save those changes and if we have a look at our site now, this will show you what the comments tab looks like. We can load that up and we're gonna see we've got um, the five most recent comments on the site along with the people's avatar of who has left the comment. And if you click on that, that's gonna give you a direct link to the comment that has been made. The next tab we can have a look at then is custom content. And this is a powerful tab that lets you add custom content to your site. We'll expand this and you can see that you can choose the tab name. Um, so we might want to just add in some lorem ipsum text here. Select the tab icon. Let's go for um, perhaps an envelope here and then we can paste in our content. You can type in any content that you want here, but here I've pasted this in and you can of course edit this using the editor here. This is just a text editor, so really easy to use. Save those changes once you are done. And if we refresh our site, we'll see the comments tab has been replaced with a lorem ipsum tab with that content that we have selected there. And you might want to use this for things such as a welcome message in order to welcome visitors onto your site. Finally, we have products. And with this tab, we can show off products that have been added to our site using the WooCommerce plugin. To use this will require having the WooCommerce plugin installed. Again, you can select the tab name as well as an icon. Um, so we might want to go for perhaps a shopping cart here. You can choose a number of products to display and again, the title length. You can show the price, the star rating if you have one, the thumbnail and a post excerpt from the product if you would like to. I'll just leave these defaults on, but perhaps we'll go for a large thumbnail in order to show you how this works. We'll have pagination on as well. And in order to make space for that, I might just remove these other two tabs here. Save those changes and when we refresh our site, you're going to see that we've got the products now added in here. And if we click on this, we're gonna see it's loaded up with the large thumbnails, the price, star rating, and if we click through to any of these, this will show our five most recent products. We've got pagination that we turned on at the bottom here, and that loads via AX in order to load our most recent products. So those are the tabs that are available, and as I mentioned, you can drag and drop in order to move these around, as well as add them, remove them, and expand them in order to customize the content. You'll see below, we also have the option to load tab contents with AX. AX is a technology that allows content to be loaded without reloading the current page, and it just makes the user experience more fluid. You're probably going to want to leave this on, but if this causes you any problems, then you can untick this in order to turn that off. Again, save those changes. Once you've got your tabs set up, you might find that a different style better suits them. And you can, of course, change this just by heading back to Customize Style. And you can again choose any of the presets available here. I'll show you what happens if we change one of these. Um, so we might perhaps change to this one here and just change our pagination preset. Um, so we'll just go for this one here, as well as choose a different loader. 
and um, we'll just customize the content link color perhaps just to move that to a more traditional blue and update the preview there see that there and then save those changes save that on the widget and I'll show you how quickly you can change the look of the widget you can see that loaded here with the two tabs available on the left and the right. And we've got the different pagination selected along the bottom. That shows you how that works. And you can also drag and drop as with normal widgets in order to move widgets between the sidebar areas. We've currently got this in the default sidebar, but if we wanted to move this to the homepage sidebar, which displays only on the homepage, we can do so here. We'll see that saved automatically. And on a post here, we've now not got the tabbed widget but if we head over to the home page, then we're going to see that display down here on the home page sidebar area. You can, of course, add multiple widgets in order to add these onto different areas. And you can just do that by dragging and dropping the widget onto the sidebar areas you want. There's no limit to how many tab sidebars you can have on your site. If you're worried about strain from server resources from the widget, then you don't need to because it's got caching built in in order to make sure it loads quickly and doesn't use all of your server's resources. The final thing to show you then is if you head to appearance and then customize, you've got another way of implementing the widget that allows for direct preview on your site. So once you've loaded up the WordPress customizer, you're going to have the customizing tabs on the left and a preview of your site on the right. You can click on widgets and then this is going to load up the widget areas available for the page you're on. So you'll only be able to access the widget areas specifically for that page. So here we're on the home page, which only has the home page sidebar. We'll load that up and we can see we've got WP tab widget by my theme shop. If we expand this, we're going to have the options available. If I add another tab in here, so perhaps um, we'll go for categories, press add new tab. And we can even customize the style as well. And you'll see loading this brings up all of the same options that we have in the main widget area. Um, so we can change to any of these. Um, you'll see a preview. You've also got pagination, load it, customize colors. If we save those changes, then they'll be applied on our site. And we can see the preview reloads automatically with that extra tab and the different design in here. And you can customize this and get a live preview of what it will look like on your site um, using the WordPress customizer here. If we close this and head over to a post, you're gonna see that the widget areas that display here change in order to reflect what is available for that sidebar. So here we've only got the sidebar rather than the homepage sidebar, and we can add in widgets here. And again, you just need to choose WP tab widget by my theme shop, and you can add that in as normal. Once you're done, you want to press save and publish in order to publish those changes straight onto your site using the WordPress customizer. If we close this and then have a look at our site, then we can see that those changes that we've made have now loaded up with a different design on the tab widget on the homepage and that extra categories displaying there as well. So that's everything you need to know about setting up WP Tab Widget Pro on your website. There are over 20 of those predefined templates for you to play with, and you can also customize them on top of that. You've also got nearly 30 of those predefined pagination styles, and you can customize those in order to get the best look for your site. You can add an unlimited number of tabs, and as I showed you, it works with the WordPress customizer. If you do have any problems, then head over to community.mythemeshop.com, and someone will be more than happy to help you. Otherwise, I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you very much for watching.